What's up everybody and welcome to my TNA No Surrender 2013 review as we reach to the final four of the Bound for Glory series in the World Heavyweight Championship title on the line tonight with Bully Ray going against Mr. Anderson. Pretty much Bully Ray kicked off the show with Brooke Bro Tessmacher. Talking about Hogan is screwing him and he was in a bad mood and why Anderson has done this and everything. And pretty much Hogan has caused all the problems that's happened in Aces and Eights. And pretty much Hogan came out talking about Bully Ray just whining and stuff, thinking he's all that. And Hogan talked about the BFG series tonight, how it was the finals and everything. And pretty much. Anderson then came out. Hogan was going to shake his hand, uh, but Anderson didn't do it. And talking about Bully Ray, he got a little bit out of control last week. And Anderson pretty much punched Bully Ray in the face and says, I am out of control. He says, It's going to be a new world heavyweight champion. And that's going to be Mr. Anderson. Anderson, wait for it, wait for it. I'm not going to say it three times, but Hogan didn't change the match. It's going to be a last man standing match for the World Heavyweight title. Brother, 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 as Hogan says, which is very, very strange. And we first off, first kicked off the first match for the Battle of Glory semifinals. We had AJ Styles versus Austin Aries, which was, I got to say, Freaking great match and everything. Aries pretty much, pretty much. Um, AJ Styles went in the match with a Styles clash off the top rope, uh, which was a very, really great match. I did enjoy the match with that, so um, it was really good. It was a little, for some points, it wasn't going as well, but when the crowd was pretty much chanting both names, Austin Aries, AJ Styles, it was a really good match as AJ moved on. Bobby Roode against Magnus. Sting was in the back talking to Magnus. The man in Mafia and everything of how it's his time now. He's the future. And Matt says, let's say the future now. Magnus then went against Bobby Roode. Uh, as the match went on, um, Magnus pretty much won up, won up by a roll-up beating Bobby Roode. So he moved on to the next part of the final of the Bound for Glory Series tournament. Uh, also, um, pretty much Bobby Roode was pissed in the back then, and he said this is all Hogan's fault as Christopher Daniels and Kazarian tried to calm down. He said, we're going to get payback. He said, nobody's going to win the, the Bound for Glory series tonight then. Mr. Anderson came out, got a big pop, pretty much going into Bully Ray, the last man standing match. Mr. Anderson was in control throughout the match, pretty much in with chairs and everything. As Bully Ray also kept getting them, then hit him with a chair. Until the Aces and Eights came out, Bully Ray hit the ref. The chair was on the ground. Anderson hit the mic check on him. Aces and Eights then came out. They picked up Anderson. Brooke Tessmacher then came up and hit Anderson in the nuts. And, then, and pretty much they all power bombed Anderson. But Anderson got back up. And then Bully Ray hit him with a chain. But Anderson still gap back up with the strength he had left until Bully Ray speared him through a table and the on the turnbuckles everybody chanting holy shit holy shit Bully Ray still retained the world heavyweight title which was a really good match and then pretty much they carried Anderson on a stretcher which was very hard for him to get him out of the stretcher for some reason out of there and then Bully Ray pretty much like knocked the stretcher over and took his colors off him, his jacket or vest or whatever it is in a biker type of thing. He pretty much took the colors off of him and took his jacket, the jacket and then did a pile drive on him off the stage. So it's the last thing you're ever going to see. So really a uh, great match. I don't know how long Anderson's going to be out, even though there's barely anybody in Ace with Ace left. And as we go to Hogan, he's talking uh, Manic in the back. And Matt told me he wants to go against Jeff Hardy and Dixie Carter then comes up talking about the whole Cheeto Ortiz and Rampage Jackson, 
Since now, Bellator has been seeing the show. They pulled them off of TNA and tell them they got to get ready for their fight November the 2nd. So now both of them will not be seen until November the 2nd, which was some waste of time. Because I don't think anybody was ever interested in Tito Ortiz in the first place. Maybe Rampage Jackson, though. So now both of them are not going to be back until um, after November the 2nd. So they'll be gone from TNA and probably will have a match when they come back. Um, also, knockout title is going to be on the line next week with ODB versus Mickey James. Uh, James Storm and Gunner talked to, came out. Saw somebody likes drinking beer and fighting pretty much. Somebody is anybody getting a chance for the title until Chavo Guerrero and Hernandez came out saying, You guys, somebody, you're a great tag team. Yeah, you're a good tag team, but you have to great tag team. Like, I'm, I'm a great tag I'm a. I'm the best in any tag team, as Chavo says. Pretty much gonna get on the mic, so I says, yeah, we like to drink beer and fight. If you have to challenge, do it. He says, don't ever stick your nose in our business again. So I guess it's now going to be a, a fight for the tag team titles between Storm and Gunner versus Hernandez and Chavo Guerrero. Magnus then winning it's AJ Styles in the main event for the Battle for Glory series, the finals. And pretty much as the match went on, uh, Ego, I guess, da uh, Daniels, Kazarian, Bobby Roode came out and started beating the hell out of both of them. So, they beat the hell out of them. I thought it would have been disqualification after that, but as the match still went on, the match continued to go on. AJ Styles was able to slam him to the ground, a drop kick, knocking. Magnus onto the ground and pretty much AJ hitting the spinal tap on Magnus winning the Bound for Glory series and now he's going to go to fight the World Heavyweight Champion at Bound for Glory and then he got on the mic and talked about he thanked everybody he said he thanked the crowd from this person that person but Dixie Carter didn't thank, thank him Dixie Carter didn't do anything not even a tweet not a word for the past two weeks or anything so he addressed Dixie Carter of what's going to happen, especially happened two weeks ago, and next week he's going to reveal this big thing, so I suggest you better watch out for whatever AJ Styles is going to be talking about next week, so watch out for that. So, I guess he pretty much ended the show dropping the mic. The show tonight was uh, really good. I did enjoy the Battle for Glory series matches tonight. Really good stuff from the even the World Heavyweight title, some stuff didn't make sense throughout the show, but this was uh, no surrender tonight, so... We'll see what happens next week, whatever AJ's going to do with Dixie Carter and AJ Styles. I don't know he needs to get out the mic in that because I don't know why he cut that promo at the end. I don't know what Dixie Carter's going to have to do with this, whatever he addressed two weeks ago. So, we're going to see what's going to happen next week as that happens and what's, what will happen with Ace and Ace and now AJ Styles is now the number one contender since that about for Glory Series winner to face. Bully Ray at Bound for Glory for the World Heavyweight Championship. So we'll see how that goes then. So once again, you know it's me, it's me, the HWD, coming with the news and reviews. You know what I am, you know what I do. Keep watching this show. We're doing this review. You better remember. And tonight we are done with No Surrender. So I'm out of here. Comment, subscribe. Keep watching the show. Support whatever you do. Hell, I don't know. We get anybody on this show half the time. You never know what's going to happen because it's very hard that I've this show. So I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later. Peace.